Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with the you know, dose of Torah. Yesterday, I left you with this, uh, you know, this reality that, right, when Moshe hit the rock originally, the first story, right? Moshe is told to hit a rock. It's at Chorev, which is Harsinai. And so, okay, we could have just explained that he got, he cracked open a, uh, a, a space and got access to the aquifer that's there, the water that's beneath. And they, and they, and they, um, lived off of that for the year that had signed it. But in Bahalotcha, they start to journey. Now, we require something more than that. I'll just reference for you here, the Abravanel. You should know that in, in, in back in, in Bishalach, we refer to Moshe hitting the Tzur. That's the same thing as the Selah, another word for a rock, that we read about um, in our parsha Chukat, that it was late in, in Kadesh, far away from Sinai, 40 years later, right? 39 years later. Um, and who, Hayah Be'erasha Miriam. That was the well of Miriam. Holech kol yimei hamidbar imahem. It journeyed with them all the days um, of, uh, of their, uh, they were in the wilderness as, as, as they journeyed, right? Wow. Um, when Miriam died, that one closed up. Um, and etc. etc. Okay, so um, hold on a second. Let me just read one last point here. So I'll just read you my English translation here. And there's already reason to question greatly the teaching. All right, because Rafidim is not Kadesh, and there's a great distance between them, and how is it possible for the rock mentioned here and the one mentioned there to be the same? And also the timing's not the same, right? So uh, it's different stories, right? So um, so that's what he, he, he brings you to, um, right, um, you know, what to do with this. But he said the miraculous well traveled with them all the days of the wilderness. That is the ultimate the upshot of this. It did, it was a miraculous well. Be'er nisi ho'lechi mehem. Because how does a well work? A well doesn't produce water. A well gives you access to the aquifer. And so now we, so we're told this is a miraculous well. It is the mouth of the well that will continue to give them water wherever they go. Is it perhaps each time tapping into an aquifer that's throughout all the desert journeys that they have? Maybe. Or it's just a well which is generally just a mouth it's supposed to give you. It's supposed to give you access to water that's naturally there, but it's the one that's actually giving you miraculous water um, out of there's nothing beneath it, and giving drink to every single Israelite, um, two million people throughout. That is a great Miriam's well. The Torah describes. We'll talk for, um, tomorrow about the, the, the Miriam's well in Jewish lore, which is also quite interesting indeed. Have a great day.